There were quite a few firsts on Mannix that uh, maybe the average person wouldn't realize, but the, uh, the opening titles were new. The teaser was new at that time. Uh, so there, there were quite a few things, the fast cuts from scene to scene. Instead of showing a person walk out the door and get into a car and go to the office, he'd brush his teeth and as he reached for a towel, he'd be getting out of the car at his office. So they, in those days, Bruce Geller, who was a very clever producer, he bypassed a lot of the time wasting where you show people getting in and out of houses and cars and things and jumped and the mind jumped right with it. And I, I think that's one of the influences that uh, maybe came out of Mannix, yeah. It's cool, you know. Uh, you know, you had Mannix, you had McGarrett, you had uh, Rockford, you had Columbo, you had Kojak. I mean, they were, these, were, these were guys, you know. They were, they were great. So um, I, think, uh, I think Mannix was, uh, was one of the first of the greats. And um, I, I think... You know, they broke some racial barriers. He, uh, you know, he was a he was a gumshoe, a sort of an old style gumshoe, kind of in the modern world, and it was it was cool. He was fantastic in the show, and, and uh, he was like the epitome of cool, I think, um, on that show. And it's it's um, it's really an honor to to be here for this night, actually.